Good evening, families. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Melissa Gaffney, and I am your student's creative writing instructor, instructor for fall trimester. I'm very excited. Um, this has been a really fun class so far, and it promises to be even more fun a few months into the trimester. So let's kind of take a look at what we have for uh, today. A little bit about me. Um, I have been here at Islander Middle School. This is my eighth year. I received my undergraduate degree from the University of Oregon, Go Ducks. I received my master's in teaching from Seattle University, uh, Go Hawks. And um, in my spare time, I like to travel to the Oregon coast, but because of my two children, I have a fourth grade daughter and a first grade son. Um, I have very little spare time. Uh, my weekends are full of Girl Scout troop meetings and soccer games when they're actually playing soccer. A little bit about the arts rotation here at Islander. Uh, creative writing is one of three art blocks that your student will receive their sixth grade year. Uh, for one trimester, it will be creative writing. For the second trimester, it will be either art or drama. And then the third trimester will be whatever they didn't have. So they'll receive a total of three art classes for this fine arts elective uh, in their sixth grade year. And creative writing is a super fun class, um, particularly because I'm a language arts teacher. Um, it's nice to be able to delve into uh, kind of more unique writing than we often get a chance to do in the regular language arts curriculum. Um, so during creative writing, students are gonna have their own original voice as an author. They're gonna improve their creative writing skills. We're gonna engage with and develop writing skills in multiple genres. Currently we're in our poetry unit, but later on in the trimester, we will dive into mythology and fairy tales. And I hope to have time for journalism, but we'll sort of see how much time, uh, I've never taught creative writing um, a full trimester in remote learning. So we'll see how that goes. Um, students are also practicing the writing process. So currently we have finished our final draft of a poem and we started by brainstorming. They started and then added to a rough draft. They had the peer, um, peer review process in class. Um, they've been revising. So we're kind of doing that cycle of the writing process um, on a continual basis. As I mentioned before, they're engaging with their peers in order to improve their, their products. And they are developing strategies for writing and writer's practices. One of the things we do every day in class is journaling because that's a habit of good writers. When you have nothing to write about, you just still have to write and sometimes brilliance strikes then. So that's kind of what we're focused on this trimester with the next, I think, six weeks we have of this class. To talk a little bit about grading, I do use a traditional grading scale of A to F here with assignments. Those are the journal entries, um, other random pieces that are kind of assigned throughout units. Those are 50% of the grade. And then summative pieces, those are those bigger pieces at the end of a unit. So um, like a poetry collection, for example, or um, a final myth or a fairy tale when we get to those units those bigger pieces are also weighted at 50%. And that is actually going to do it for my short but sweet presentation for creative writing or enrichment. Um, I, I hope that your students having a, a great time. And if you ever need to reach out to me, my email address is on the screen. Feel free to screenshot it. Um, it's also pretty easy to find on the school website, but it's melissa.gaffney at mercerislandschools.org. And I hope you have a great rest of your curriculum night.